At COP21, India had pledged to reduce its carbon footprint by 33 to 35 percent by 2030, below 2005 levels. It has also pledged to increase the share of non-fossil fuel-based electricity to 40 percent by 2030. Spanning over 5.89 million kilometers, it is the second largest road network in the world. Over 64% of the country's goods and over 90% of passengers are transported by road. At nearly 15% of energy-related CO2 emissions, road transport is one of the fastest growing emission sectors in India. If the present trends continue, vehicular energy and greenhouse gas emissions will triple by mid-century. Electrification, efficiency improvements, fuel diversification, mode shift to public transport, and transport demand management. Most cities in India are at an initial stage of development. This presents a great opportunity to leapfrog towards decarbonizing the transport system. We are the largest manufacturers of two-wheelers and the fourth largest car manufacturer in the world. Indian auto manufacturers produced a record 30.92 million motor vehicles in 2019, including 4.03 million passenger vehicles. India's transport sector, with the fourth largest rail network in the world and the third largest global aviation market, presents a huge and a massive opportunity, but there are also challenges. The aim is to implement sustainable transport and limit future emissions. If this is done properly, Indian cities will not need big and expensive upgrades in the future. But it needs an integrated approach bringing in multiple agencies on a common platform. Now globally, three-fourths of total transport emission comes from road transport sector. And that share in India is as high as 90%. Because in Delhi, for example, uh, 40% of PM2.5 emissions, 20% of PM10 emissions, and almost 80% of VOC emissions come from transport. Therefore, transport is also important for climate change as it is equally important for public. Between 1981 and 2011, that's again a period of 30 years, while we had a 77% increase in our population, our number of motor vehicles went up by 2,500%. That's the magnitude of motorization that is taking place, and that's why transport sector is going to contribute an increasing amount of the greenhouse gas emissions in India. That's why dealing with climate change in India, transport is going to be absolutely critical. Rural transport and highways are in the forefront of driving sustainable mobility in India and this opens vast challenges and opportunities to explore and work along with the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs and the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. We run the national mission of transformative mobility which is housed at Niti Ayo. We have, the government has released a phase two with an outlay of 10,000 crores we incentivize over a million electric two-wheelers, half a million electric three-wheelers and four-wheelers and a lot of buses. Uh, we have also taken several proactive steps uh, to push electric vehicle mobility. India would be the primary driver of e-mobility where 30% EV penetration would happen by 2030 and India would have 35% shared miles by 2030. And therefore, the future of transport lies in shared, connected and autonomous mobility. For passenger transport, the expected growth is due to a growing population and also by rising income levels. For instance, car ownership rates in India will increase as the middle class is growing and projections expect a fourfold increase of passenger transport activity until 2050. A similar growth is expected for the freight transport sector as the Indian industry is expanding. Freight will continues to play an important role in India and is more energy efficient than transporting freight and trucks. Transformation is going on in India for both transport as well as energy sectors. Focus is on green energy for clean transport. In this context, electric mobility in India is opening up a window of opportunity for sustainable sector coupling. Smart charging, vehicle to grid, dynamic integration with renewable energy, 
these are a few key areas where synergistic sector coupling between transport and energy will be enhanced soon in India. Solutions from India can become a unique model for the region and beyond, contributing to knowledge, dissemination and learning, leading to a solution-based approach to the threat of global warming and climate change.